In my previous video, the penis appeared to be less amazing than its female counterpart, the clitoris. But let's now look at some stunning qualities of the penis. First off, the penis is huge. This is human race's close cousin, the gorilla. One male gorilla has his own little harem of female gorillas. For male gorillas, it's of great advantage to be big and strong, enabling him to fend off any male intruder into his territory or harem. So the bigger the male, the larger the chances are that he can reproduce. As a result, there's a large sexual size dimorphism, meaning the male gorillas are much bigger than the female gorillas. As the women only mate with their leader, the male gorilla's sexual capabilities are limited to just being fertile. His penis is about 4 cm long and that's when it's erect. And a mating takes about 60 seconds. A large sexual size dimorphism, unimpressive sexual skills, they are all typical characteristics of a polygynous mating system. Now we women can complain about our men. But I'm sure we can agree that men are not twice as big as women are and their sexual skills are slightly better than that of a gorilla. Or maybe more than slightly. So again we can conclude that the sexual selection theory suggesting that we're like the gorilla's polygynous is nonsense. Human race is polygamous. Men made with multiple women and women made with multiple men. Men's penis is much longer and thicker than our primate cousins. The width of condoms sold in Asia are 49 mm, in North America and Europe 52 mm and in Africa 53 mm. Mind you, Asian men see it as an art to withhold an orgasm for as long as possible, leaving you with a choice, longer love making with a smaller penis or big but quick. Globally speaking, the average duration of copulation is 4 to 7 minutes, during which a man thrusts from 5 up to 100 times on average. There are two good reasons for thrusting. By thrusting, the man creates a vacuum in the woman's vagina, sucking away the semen shot there by previous men. In doing so, the thruster gives his own semen a better chance at fertilizing the woman's egg. Believe it or not, an actual scientific study has shown that 90% of the semen is being displaced with one single thrust. Rodin himself couldn't have sculpted a more pleasing design for womankind. Besides size, thank heavens larger than 3 cm, what's best about the penis is this lip. During thrusting, the lip massages the female prostate, also known as a G-spot, but really it's not a spot, it's an organ. It's the massaging of the prostate that makes intercourse pleasant for women. And next week, I'll tell you more about the female prostate, so don't forget to forward this video to your friends. Bye!